Hello everyone, this is Creative Biolab Science channel. Today we will learn about the basic of mRNA based therapy. The content is divided into six parts, including definition of mRNA, timeline of mRNA therapeutics, action mechanism and development strategies of mRNA drugs, therapeutic mRNA applications, and the related services we can find at Creative Biolabs. First, let's take a look at the definition of mRNA. mRNA is a kind of single-stranded ribonucleic acid which is transcribed from a strand of DNA as a template and carry the genetic information to guide protein synthesis. Overall, mRNA is the middleman of the central dogma of molecular biology, which is responsible for transmitting genetic information and directly guiding protein synthesis. The structure of mRNA can be divided into five parts, 5'NCAP, five 5' NCAP, five prime non-transcriptional region, open reading flame encoding antigen, 3' prime UTR, and the polygatni tail. Understanding the structure and function of mRNA and its metabolism in eukaryotic cells is an important base for the development of mRNA-based therapy. Let's sort out the key progress of messenger ribonucleic acid therapy. mRNA was first discovered in 1961, eight years after DNA double helix discovery. In the 1990s, mature delivery technology greatly promoted the research of mRNA treatment. Since then, mRNA therapy has shown considerable promise in prevention and treatment of a variety of diseases. Its practical application extends to protein substitution, infectious disease, vaccine, cancer, gene editing, and so on. In 2020, the outbreak of SARS-CoV-2 made a batch of mRNA vaccines clinically validated, accelerated the investment of pharmaceutical companies in mRNA drug technology, and greatly promoted the development of mRNA industry. Then, let's take a look at how mRNA drug works. Usually, the defined mRNA will be sent to the cytoplasm by a specific delivery system, and the corresponding protein will be produced in the cytoplasm, stimulating the immune system and causing humoral or cell-mediated immune response in the intracellular or extracellular secretion. It is worth noting that the product encoded by mRNA similar to the endogenous protein, are presented to CDA and T-cell through major histocompatibility complex class 1 molecules, which cannot reach the MHC2 processing pathway to induce T-helper cell response. However, the T-helper cell's response can be induced by introducing the secretory signal into the antigen coding sequence and redirecting the antigen to the outside of the cells directing the antigen to the outside of the cell. Although mRNA therapy is similar and safer than DNA therapy, it still has some shortcomings, such as short half-life, easy degradation, immunogenicity, and so on. Therefore, we usually need genetic modification to optimize mRNA drugs. As we all know, the main structure of mRNA can be divided into five parts, each with different functions. Different results can be obtained by modifying different structural elements. For example, the 5' prime cap region plays an important role in effective translation and the mRNA degradation. So, adding a special head structure can reduce the synthetic error rate and improve the translation efficiency. The coding region determines the specificity of antigens. By optimizing the use of codon and bases, the translation efficiency of mRNA templates can be improved and the attack of endonuclease can be reduced. The non-coding region can regulate the transport and translation efficiency of mRNA, and optimizing the non-coding region can improve the stability 
and translation level of mRNA. The poly A tail determines the stability of mRNA by adding modified nucleotide to the tail. mRNA deadenylation can be avoided and the translation can be carried out normally. When we have a properly designed mRNA drug, we need to choose a suitable delivery system to deliver the drug to the cell. A desired mRNA delivery vehicle must have the following properties. 1. Protection of mRNA from extracellular nucleus digestion. 2. Cell-specific uptake. 3. Endosomal escape. 4. The desired level of delivery vehicle specific immunostimulatory properties. 5. Efficient clearance of delivery vehicle components. And 6. Low toxicity. At present, commonly used delivery systems include lipoplex, lipid nanoparticles, and lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticles. Lipids and lipid like materials represent the second major class of nanoparticle based delivery vehicle for RNA. Cationic lipids are often used to electrically statically bind to the nucleic acid while ionizable lipids are positively charged only in acidic environments. And this ionizable behavior is thought to enhance efficacy through helping with endosomal escape and reducing toxicity. Nanoparticle encapsulation physically protects mRNA from degradation and, depending on the specific chemistry, can aid in cellular uptake and endosomal escape. Given the high degree of chemical flexibility, polymers are commonly used as material for nanoparticles-based delivery. The hybrid delivery system has shown promising results for the delivery of mRNA. With the mRNA encapsulated in the hybrid nanoparticles composed of lipid-like material with a polymeric PLGA core, the hybrid formulation is thermodynamically favorable with respect to hydrophobic, vendor and electrostatic interactions. Due to the rapid development of mRNA technology, mRNA therapy has been applied to many fields, such as cancer immunotherapies, infectious disease vaccines, allergy tolerization, protein replacement, supplementation therapies, genome engineering, and genetic reprogramming. <coughs> there are more than 150 mRNA drug and vaccine research pipeline worldwide, mainly for infectious disease, tumor disease, protection substitution, and gene therapy. At present, most of the pipelines are in early stage. Only mRNA COVID-19 vaccine is on the market. With the spread of COVID-19 epidemic situation around the world, the research on mRNA in the direction of infectious disease has been accelerated. At present, the proportion of mRNA research applied to infectious disease is about 47%. There are more than 70 research pipelines for MI therapies targeting infectious disease in the world, of which COVID-19 vaccine accounts for about 40%. Creative Biolabs has established a department specializing in mRNA technology and a comprehensive platform to facilitate the research progress of mRNA drugs. We can provide fast service in mRNA synthesis, modification, mRNA stability tests, and mRNA-based assays. In addition, we also provide customized solutions for mRNA therapeutic development, mRNA-based cell reprogramming, and delivery vehicle for mRNA.